What's poppin' guys? We are back for week five of the MBL, our team analysis. Got with me my buddy Joey Pokiam. Go ahead and say hello. What's up guys? Pokiam here with the next week of the MBL versus Shofu and Duncan. Got a matchup against Team Wee Disney. So we obviously decided that we have to bring heat this time. We've been bringing some uh, pretty, pretty, uh, I guess, sort of uh, expected sets. But this time we're bringing the unexpected. So uh, they have a team of Tapu Koko, Landers Eye, Tapu Bulu, Gyarados, Silvali, which is pretty interesting. You can change it to anything. Uh, so Lantern, Tornadus Eye, Tornadus Incarnate, Magmortar, Frostlass, and Alhalucha. So the team looks pretty threatening overall. What do you, what do you feel about that? It's actually really scary. I'm more scared about Tapu Koko since our ground type is four times weak to ice. Mm -hmm. And it's also like Twinkle Tackle is also a thing. But uh, besides that, I feel like Celestilla does really, 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 really well versus them. And with like Intimidate Shuffling from Arcanine, like I feel like Celestilla is so good versus them. So I'm not as worried. And we finally have an, a, a battle where we can take advantage of our Raichu's ability, which is pretty cool too. So I'm excited for this game. Exactly. So we, we have built this team so that we can fare well against the pretty much the entirety of their team. So let's talk about the first Pokemon we got here. We got Pancakes, the Alolan Raichu. And uh, this time we wanted to run a pretty like nice fake out set, which can be really great as a lead um, alongside. We're, we're planning on leading with Raichu Garchomp because it does really well in terms of faking out a Pokemon and attacking something. Uh, getting rid of like Pokemon that uh, are, I guess, threatening to a lot of the Pokemon we have in the back, as you'll soon see. Um, is going to be pretty useful. I'll just put it in this kind of view so you can see like the entirety of the team. These two Pokemon back here are just uh, like the fillers, I guess. But um, Alolan Raichu is really cool. Psyche MZ is able to, you know, go for that Shattered Psyche and it actually Oko's Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko. Yeah, which is really, yeah. really nice. And um, besides that, I mean, it's a great Pokemon to, of course, give us a free turn of attacking with Garchomp if we decide to fake out a Pokemon that could otherwise be threatening. So like, for instance, maybe they lead like Tornadus, we can fake out the Tailwind or what, maybe they lead... Um, Maybe like Landris or something. We could fake. We could fake yeah, out something. Yeah, like Landris top of Coco. Yeah, we could Coco. fake out that. Mm -hmm. Knock it out with Psycheum. Like after fake out, Landris dies to Psycheum Z. And then we have a really cool Garchomp as well, which pairs up pretty well and appreciates the fake out. So this Garchomp is more like a lure set. We have Split Death on it because it allows it to take HP ice from Life Orb Landris as well as Tapu Coco. Earth Power knocks out Tapu Coco, so we don't have to worry about Spread Move Earthquake. HP Ice 100% knocks out Landers after a Life Orb hit, and can knock it out most of the time as well without a Life Orb hit as we take an HP Ice. And then we have Poison Jab as well, and when we Mega Evolve, it means that we knock out Tapu Bulu, and we're also faster than Jolly Tapu Bulu. Right, so. exactly. We have set the speed to be faster than Max Speed Jolly Tapu Bulu. Even without investment, like Joey said, we still, we Oko um, Bulu completely. Earth Power will be able to, of course, get rid of stuff like Coco, HP Ice for Lando. Really nice and solid Pokemon. Goes really well with Raichu, which actually does benefit from the electric terrain with that Surge Surfer. So we get that nice double speed, being faster than like a lot of their teams. So that's going to be pretty fun. These two Pokemon as a lead, Pancakes and Stranja. Um, exactly. Yeah. And the fact that Raichu can just like fake them out is so cool uh, as well. Because we don't know... like. It, it, it makes every Mon that could Oko Garchomp not be able to Oko Garchomp because as long as we make them not have that turn to attack and then the fact that Raichu also outspeeds Tapu Koko after, it's amazing. So it makes them play, I think it will make them play certain Pokemon differently. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. And even with like, with the investment we have, I'm pretty sure we can take, um, we can take a Twinkle Tackle after we protect plus we can take a Dazzling Gleam after that because it's a spread move. I'm pretty sure. Exactly. From the calcs. Exactly, so yes. Yeah, from our calcs we can take Twinkle Tackle into Dazzling Gleam because uh, the only attack the only Dazzling Gleam that would knock us out after Twinkle Tackle would be a Life or Dazzling Gleam, and obviously they can't have that if they had Twinkle Tackle. Exactly. So we live we live a protected Twinkle Tackle into Dazzling Gleam, and we knock on top of Coco or Earth Power. Yep. That's that's actually pretty clean. Like, the Garchomp, it has some reasonably, like, decent bulk, so that can actually come into a play uh, versus their team. And we have some pretty nice special attack. <laughs> yeah, this is the heat set here. Earth Power, Earth Power Mega Garchomp, all right? Tell me about the last time you saw that. All right, next, moving on. Here. Earthquake. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, Celestilla is so cool versus them as well. Like Spadest Celestilla walls uh, Bulu naturally. It walls um, Silvali. Silvali is really weird too because we don't know what type. I don't, I don't think they're, they're, they're not set to a type. They can use any type, right? They can use any type, right? Yeah, exactly. But like Leech Seed Protect is just so great versus their team. And like it, it just, it pretty much, it, it wears stuff down. We have the Electric Seed here because that just gives us... Okay, this is the fun thing, right? We get a Defense Boost, right, from Electric Seed. We get a Defense Boost. We have a Max Special Defense. So we will get Beast Boosts into our uh, into our Spideff stat. Yep. 
making this, and then of course acrobatics will activate it into its max exactly. power once we use up our yeah. item. So this thing is going to become a, an unstoppable Pokemon. Electric Electric Seed also, like I said, it, it activates in Electric Terrain. So their own top of Coco is Electric Terrain. Um, gives us our defense boost. Obviously, we want to be careful about like a life on top of Coco because so right, still right. does not appreciate that at all. But Acrobatics is nice because it helps us take on Bulu. Uh, it's it's just obviously Heavy Slam also helps with that, but it's also good stab versus like Gyarados as well. And we can just Leech Seed protect that. Spadef helps us take on Lando, as I said. Uh, we can even wall Lantern to an extent, take a hit from Magmortar, take a hit from Tornadus uh, easily. And um, yeah, Leech Seed protect is just so good versus them, especially if we get rid of Tapu Koko. Like Celestial just gives them a hard time. And we don't got to worry about Landers uh, as well. Heavy Slam has a good chance to 2 at KO. Uh, and if they do end up hitting our Garchomp with a Life Orb HP Ice, then Heavy Slam always 2 at KOs. So, right, exactly. And like the way that we have built this team sort of is so that we can get rid of threats to like mainly Celestila, like, which is like pretty much Tapu Koko is like the biggest threat to Celestila. And we have like what Alolan Raichu, Garchomp, like Asolvis Arcanine, and things like that can really help us out versus uh, Coco, can it help us out versus, um, or can help us with Celestila, putting it, making it put in work and stuff. Exactly, exactly. Uh, speaking of Arcanine, we are Asolvis, mm -hmm. as you did mention. Um, our set is faster than Adamant Gyarados, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Uh, which I would see them bringing versus us because it hits Trade Deadly Hard with like Ice Fang or Z, Z Fly. That's something I can see them bringing versus us, Ice Fang or Z, Z Fly. Z Bounce, Z Bounce. Z Bounce, yes. Sorry, yeah. thank you so much. <laughs> um, Flare Bits is good. Stab versus Bulu, whatnot. Wild Charge helps us versus Gyarados. Extreme Speed gives us that priority. Um, unfortunately, with this spread, we don't take a Life of Earth Power from Planners anyway. But we're hoping that with Celesteela and like Raichu and even Garchomp, we're not going to have to deal with Landers when it comes to Arcanine. Yeah. And then Bulldoze is really cool because uh, lowering Tapu Koko's speed allows Garchomp to take advantage of that. Obviously, Bulldoze hits every mile on the team, which is why we do have Protect, and Celesteela does avoid that as well. Um, and we do have Protect on Mons, and just lowering their speed uh, allows Celesteela, allows Garchomp uh, to actually do some damage to them and threaten them. Like yeah. a slow Tapu Koko, Celesteela can 2-8 KO. So. Exactly. Yep. I think Arcanine is pretty cool overall. We were thinking of running like Flame Charge or something, but we felt that Bulldoze is probably better because it can, it can affect the Pokemon that like like a multiple Pokemon at the same time. Like they're both of their mods. It just lowers their speed and um, it actually does some decent damage. I guess to, like Coco Lantern and stuff. I agree. I agree. And it's Arcanine just intimidates so good as well because we can pivot between Bulu, Gyarados, um, Halucha even guess, maybe if they bring that. Exactly. exactly. Exactly, Halucha as well, which tells us in the house is out versus and having our own electric terrain, or having their electric terrain helps out versus that too. And that's why we also have extreme speed because it can help us pick off a weekend land, no weekend Halucha. Exactly, this bulk that we not. have here helps, uh, this bulk I'm pretty sure allows us to also live um, Gigavolt Havoc from Tapu Koko under exactly. electric terrain. Yeah. Yes, and just Thunderbolts and whatnot too. So like yeah. it'll give us a way to damage them, which is the goal. Uh, you want to talk about Cradilly? Yeah, Cradilly here is a really fun set. And actually, like looking at their team, um, which of course you you will obviously see on the right side of your screen. I don't think I mentioned that, but I'll put it up. But it actually puts in some really good work versus their team. I'm looking at it right now, and the only way they can really deal with Cradilly is by like attacking it. Maybe with like they have to go for like some kind of really strong Z move, or even like I guess Life Orb Landers is a good option versus it. But um, yeah. overall, like. The, like the typing that we have with like seed bomb rock tomb it hits like literally everything on their team and if we curse up we like physically defensive curse so we can actually even set up on bulu as well yeah exactly like a physically offensive bulu um your standard bulu bandit even a uh, bandit would hurt bandit would kind of <laughs> yeah hurt. bandit would kind of bandit, bandit kind of ko's i think if not close to it's crazy how strong bandit is but i don't think they bring bandit versus a team with uh, steel though Arcanine and whatnot. It's kind of why we have Rocky team. Helmet because it, it just punishes physical attackers mainly that try to go for us and they actually have yeah. a decent number of them like for instance Gyarados, uh, I guess also Halucha, Bulu, uh, potentially what, Silvali maybe if they're like Swords Dance or something. Yeah, agreed. Uh, we originally had a Z-move on Cradilly but when we were working out the order that we wanted to put the Mons, uh, Cradilly always ended up on the side with the other Z-move Mon. So, yeah. it was tough. <laughs> Figured out. So we ended up, we were talking about Rocky Helmet, we were talking about uh, Chapelberry, we were talking about a few things. Ended up deciding on Rocky Helmet just because the chip damage on Gyarados could be cool. Exactly. And like having Cradilly and Arcanine on the other sides means that Gyarados can never go for Waterfall because of Storm Drain. So they'll give us a boost with that. Correct. That's pretty cool. Especially if they have like some Z water move Gyarados or something. Yes, yes. 
and coming off the bench. You could talk we about this one. I know she wants this one. Cozy, favorite. our comfy. I think comfy is so cool in this. Uh, floral healing is sick because it heals our our teammates by fifty percent. So like if Celestial is at fifty percent, uh, we do have triage floral healing, which makes it go back up to hundred. Under grassy terrain, it heals seventy five percent, which is pretty cool for Arcanine for Garchomp. Um, actually, maybe not so much Arcanine because I think Arcanine is gonna be on the same side. As that but like for celesteela it's pretty cool yeah like, we're like, thinking of keeping uh, celesteela as well yeah celesteela and cradley on the same side so like vers like for those two months specifically that's gonna be so nice dude yeah exactly and then we have uh obviously priority draining kiss and then we couldn't think of a last move so we put calm mine i think that was the, like, the best option because it gives us a chance to potentially sweep like set up on maybe a top of coco that's been weakened or slowed down so we can get the calm mind up before Mm -hmm. It actually does anything. And then protect is nice with leftovers. Draining Kiss, obviously, we're going to be healing a lot. It's going to be smooching all them Pokemon. And maybe getting off, like, a last-ditch effort chip hit on Landorus, on Coco, on Bulu, which might be necessary to kill with Raichu. Yeah, uh, even for, like, Halucha cool as that. well. Like, Halucha could probably be... Uh, maybe it, it just The Combine helps us get that more sort of power versus that, maybe. Exactly. Exactly. And like you said, we wanted the... um, We wanted, like, chip damage. From it that's the main thing like to support the team and maybe get off chip damage yeah but like mainly support the team with floral healing and then if we need to get off a hit with it we do get a priority draining kiss and that helps out with halucha a lot like if it gets out of hand it can definitely help out with it that's right yeah i like this team a lot actually I'm, it looks really fun i agree like we're, we're, we're bringing we're bringing comfy off the bench we're bringing that we're bringing back Cray dilly Cray Dilly's always fun to use um yeah arcanine is cool celesteel is of course annoying as always garchomp says heat Garchomp is pretty heat, part of the power. Right, so it still hasn't done anything though in any games we used it. I feel like everybody over preps for it. For what? For Celesteela. Yeah, and like, I guess. I, I I understand why we're bringing it. We need to bring it. A Landorus. A Landorus, we a actually Bulu. Need to bring it. Yeah, a Tornadus even. Exactly, exactly. But even in this game, like they have Tapu Koko. They do, so, but I feel like our team is pretty overstacked for Coco. Like looking at it, like take a look, man. It's, it's, I think we have like a lot of things for Coco. No, I, I think we're fine versus Coco as yeah. well. I think we're definitely decent versus Coco. But um, yeah, I'm excited. We got our two uh, decoy mons in the back. So on the bench this week, we got Buzzwell and Suicune, two of the mons that were like pretty much MVPs throughout the entire weeks. So maybe like bringing that, we feel we'll kind of throw them off in guessing what mons we're gonna bring versus them. It's true. It's true. I'm hype. I'm hype for the I'm pretty game. hype, dude. Like, they're, they're, in the they're undefeated. So they're undefeated. Really cool. I'm pretty sure this is like the most, what, anticipated match this week, if not one of them at least. So it should be fun. Like, I'm excited to face them. And they're like, and I mean, you know Shofu more than I do, but I, I know Duncan pretty well. So it's like, what, what's it called? It's like, uh, it's like mentors versus students in a way. <laughs> And tutor nobody. <laughs> I mean, I helped Duncan a little bit, but um, back in the day, you didn't help Shofu. But, uh, what? No, never. Shofu's my boy. He's always played Pokemon. I just chill with him. Yeah, whatever, dude. You helped him. You you got him to where he is today. Don't ever deny that. Okay. And I I created he I created he definitely uh, isn't bigger. Definitely isn't like I created uh, Disney. I I am Disney. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for the game goes up on my channel at uh what is it 3 p.m eastern is when we always upload them uh yep 3 p.m yeah, on friday yeah. is gonna be the team builder the battle is gonna be up the following uh day at the same time 3 p.m eastern standard time make sure you guys are there to watch it check out joey's channel and uh got anything else to say bro uh, that's it just look forward to the game i know i am Whenever it's gonna be play, fun so. it's gonna be fun nbl is like really fun i don't know I, i've never been i've never been like consistently playing doubles or like trying doubles as, other yeah, than it this yeah, like having teamwork, the the hacks that we the just hacks. consistently get. <laughs> Yo, we gotta see if we get more fortune this time. Yeah, okay, so like remember the way that they the way that they have to defeat us is by beating us in like ten turns, like the last uh, that Team Jamie's did. So if they can do that, then of course they can uh, triumph over our luck. But if not, <laughs> that's when that's when the hack starts kicking that, in. That's when it kicks in there. If it, if it goes over ten turns, you already know I'm I'm, I'm charging up right there. I'm gonna get charged up. And I'm gonna I'm fire off something. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna prophesize this. Something's gonna happen. We'll, we'll, we'll see if that happens, though. Uh, I'm, I'm excited, dude. Me too, bro. Oh, right. yeah, I guess uh, we'll see you guys with the game. Yep, we'll see you guys on the game coming out tomorrow, uh, 24 hours from this video. Goodbye, friends. Bye.